Yo, it's your boy Shadow back again, and today I'll be showing you all the leaked version of Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean for the Samsung Galaxy S3. So I'm just going to go into the settings real quick. About device 4.1.2. Which is Jelly Bean. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you some of the features real quick. So if I long press on the back key, it brings up a side menu here and it allows you to hold on. It allows you to multitask. So if I long press on video player and drag and drop it onto the home screen. We're playing a video. If I long press on maps and drag it onto the screen, you can be looking at the map whilst watching the video. Also, if I long press on messaging and drag it onto there, also. It brings up a little keyboard here, so you can be sending a text, browsing the maps, and also watching the video. Hold on, let me just stop the video. So yeah, that's the multitasking feature. Um, when you pull down notifications here at the top, you'll notice you'll get a shortcut for the multitasking window. Also, when you go into settings, I think it's display, notification panel. You can customize the notifications. So these icons up here at the top, you can switch them around. So for example, if you wanna, if you want to swap Bluetooth with, hold on, S Beam or Smart Stay, you just long press Bluetooth, drag it down here, and then long press Smart Stay and drag it up there. And now when I pull down the notifications, I should have Smart State up here. As you can see, it's right there. Um, let's just have a look and see if there's any new widgets. Yeah, we've got a music hub widget here. And we've got a sound search widget. And we've got a torchlight widget. And that's pretty much it for the widgets. So yeah, that's um, Android 4.1.2, um, the latest version of Jelly Bean. Like I said, it's not official, it's the leaked version, but I've been using it since yesterday, and so far it's pretty much stable. Um, I haven't found any bugs. Um, if you want to try this ROM out, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. You'll need to root your device and have um, Clockwork Mod installed, and then you can just go ahead and flash the ROM. So yeah, that's it for the video. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.